Hello, my name is Alexandra Papadaki and I would like to present you our work called Match or No Match, Keypoint Filtering based on Matching Probability. One of the biggest problems regarding the computational cost and accuracy in many computer vision tasks, like keypoint matching and 3D reconstruction, is the large amount of unreliable keypoints, especially for large-scale applications. These are usually caused by difficult capturing conditions and uh, error-prone areas like those shown uh, in the image, with vegetation, repetitive patterns, moving objects like pedestrians and homogeneous areas. This can be handled by reducing image pairs, improving descriptors and matching, and filtering matches. In our case, we reduce the key points, like the similar work of Hartmann et al. 2014, using a binary random forest classifier. However, here we use simple key point properties as uh, training features instead of safe descriptor elements. The Hartmann et al. method, though, was used as a comparison method for proposed one. For that reason, the main goals here were to filter out non-matchable key points and preserve matchable ones in order to improve matching and 3D reconstruction in terms of accuracy and time efficiency. For example, as shown in the image, the final goal was to avoid the red points on the error-prone areas and keep only the green ones. How did we manage this, though? We introduced the problem as a two-class classification between matchable and non-matchable key points using a random forest classifier. In fact, we suggested eight pioneering training features that are simple enough to compute, but capture geometrical, textural, topological, and appearance properties. These features are the image coordinates, size, orientation angle, response, octave, number of dominant orientations, and green channel intensity of the key points. More sophisticated features were also examined, but they only added to the complexity and not to the accuracy of the algorithm. The graph here presents the whole workflow of the proposed method. As shown on the left, the training data are obtained offline using a typical SIFT-based structure for motion pipeline. SIFT was chosen because of its performance, but other detectors could also be used if the required information for the features is provided. The detected key points are matched based on the L2 distance between the sifted descriptors uh, followed by a ratio test, a symmetry cross-check, and outlier removal via RANSAC. The random forest is trained on the obtained matches and key point features. Then it can be used to pre-filter detected key points in a new image based on their predicted probability to be matchable. So then, matching is only performed on a small fraction of all key points for which the corresponding matching uh, probability is high. Many experiments were performed to evaluate filtering, but also its actual impact on subsequent computer vision processes, since a good classification performance does not automatically imply good performance in subsequent matching or other processing steps. The tests were done on various stereo and multi-view datasets depicting building facades. We used 150 training images, resulting in 150,000 samples and more than 400 testing images. The images were captured under different conditions, depicting different types of buildings and including error-prone areas, which were though successfully handled by the algorithm. As mentioned before, we suggested a set of eight training features, which are evaluated according to their mean decreased accuracy or else permute importance, as well as the selection frequency. Both measures suggest that uh, the size, color, and number of dominant orientations are most important. Response and coordinates have a medium importance, while octave and orientation angle are less important. However, all features contribute to the final performance without decreasing the accuracy. Also, the small number of features allows a well-performing and fast classifier, which does not require a huge amount of data. Let's see now the actual filtering results. 
Uh, you see the detected points in red and those that survived classification in green. Solid green circles present those that were finally matched. So the proposed method uh, filtered out many of the red points that lie on error-prone areas like pedestrians, repetitive patterns, vegetation, and homogeneous areas. For the rest of the analysis, we compare the proposed method to the standard procedure without any key point filtering, as well as to filtering uh, as proposed by Hartmann et al. All experiments are performed using identical data, procedures, and hardware. According to the recall, the proposed uh, algorithm manages to preserve 73% of the matchable key points. Also, according to the specificity, it filters out 50% of the non-matchable key points. The low precision and medium accuracy are mainly caused by the unbalanced data and the survival of a, uh, a lot of non-matchable key points. This, however, has no effect on the objectively good performance on uh, preserving the matchable key points. The other method filtered out slightly more non-matchable key points, losing though a few more matchable good key points. However, a good filtering does not guarantee a subsequent good matching. Since the classification is performed independently for every image, it is possible that essential matches are lost if the corresponding points are not preserved in both images. Comparing the matches though, the proposed method preserved 73% um, of good matches and uh, avoids mismatches, like for example on the repeated identical columns at the top of this building. The proposed prediction is 10 times faster than the algorithm proposed by Hartmann et al. This is mainly because uh, of the fast to compute features and the small architecture of the random forest model. Pairwise matching, as shown on the right, is accelerated by approximately 35% for both uh, filtering methods, compared to the standard matching shown in black. It should be noted that uh, filtering time grows linearly with the number of images, while matching cost uh, grows quadratically. So for large image collections, the performance benefit could be higher. Now, an evaluation uh, in an end-to-end -end SFM and 3D reconstruction pipeline was performed using CallMap software and multiple multi-view datasets uh, of around 2,200 images. The proposed algorithm reconstructs more accurately and completely the 3D scene compared to the SFM without filtering and SFM with filtering as proposed by Hartmann et al. As shown in the histograms, the proposed method achieves smaller reprojection error while reconstructing much more scene points. In fact, in this example, the proposed method reconstructed 32% more points than filtering based on Hartmann et al. This large difference comes mainly from uh, the rightmost facade, which is missing or mismatched to the center facade by the second method. The wrongly reconstructed points are marked in purple. The proposed algorithm also reconstructs more precisely the ground truth geometry, even if using one single stereo pair. The challenge in this test was to reconstruct the 90 degree corner of the depicted building. A reference point cloud shown in blue was created by using 30 images of the whole building. The rest point clouds were created by a single stereo pair. The lower part of the figure shows a horizontal slice for easier interpretation. It can be noticed uh, that the only point cloud that reconstructs the two facades as being orthogonal and coincides with the control point cloud is the one produced by using the proposed filtering. Uh, this is shown in green color. Point clouds produced by um, the filter by Hartmann et al. in magenta and uh, no filter SFM shown in orange and red fail to preserve the geometry, providing much wider angles. So, the proposed method, except for improving 3D reconstruction accuracy, precision, and time efficiency, it also manages this, requiring less data. Concluding, we proposed a key point filtering method prior to matching 
by training a very small five trees with depth five random forest classifier with eight simple features. The method successfully preserves 73% of the matchable key points and filters 50% of the non-matchable, especially those on error-prone areas with vegetation, repeated patterns, moving objects like pedestrians as well as homogeneous and textureless areas. Consequently, it improves matching by avoiding mismatches and accelerating pairwise matching by more than 30%. Finally, it increases significantly the accuracy and precision of 3D reconstruction while requiring less data. Thank you very much.